G'day Australia, Andy Roberts here. Well, we've just rocked on up to Echuca, uh, Moama. Uh, we're just on the New South Wales side of the um, of the Murray, and we're here for about a week or so. And the things that we're going to do is we're going to go and check out one of those um, paddle steamer cruises, and I'm pretty much just going to give a review about this caravan park that we're at. So um, yeah, let's go and um, we'll go for a walk down the river first. Watch your step. As you can see, we've got the river just over there. And we're at one of the Discovery Parks. I think it's a G'day Park. Anyway, they've taken my name, G'day. Oh, this is it here. All right. We're on Power Site 46. All right, let's go for a walk down here. Okay, so I'm just running down from, uh, from our caravan. Uh, I thought I'd come down to the river here. And uh, um, these guys are going to start turning around. It looks like the, um, the Canberra, which is the um, paddle steamer that we were on yesterday. So if we have a look, they're coming down. I'm going to start turning around in a minute now. There we go, we've got Captain Neil on there. Alright, so we're back on the Murray again. It was only uh, a month or so, we were up at uh, uh, Tokenwall. Now, this time, we're in Moama. So, this side is New South Wales. And that side is now Victoria. So, um, yeah, lovely little spot this one. Might go for a swim later on today. Uh, in uh, what middle of May, and it's a beautiful day. All right, and I think uh, tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Next week. So we're going to stay here for a week. So next week, we're um, going to take a uh, one of the paddle steamers for a bit of a cruise. I think on the PS Canberra, and it comes down comes down here and turns around and then goes back so it's about an hour's an hour's trip uh, about $31 I think per person I uh, got a kiosk and a, and a bar on there so we might pack a couple of sandwiches and have lunch on the paddle steamer should be good Right, so we're taking the uh, paddle steamer called the Canberra on a one hour trip. So this is where you board and we're just waiting for it to um, to come back. It's already on a trip at the moment. We saw it, didn't we? Yeah. So uh, it told us to be here about 15 minutes before it departs. We're about half an hour early. So we'll just wait and see what happens. Interesting enough, for 1866 was all Australian made. That was back in the good old days when we were a self sufficient country and we did import everyone else's junk. At the end of the wharf, there in front of us is the Pevensey. She was built in 1911. Now, this is the industrial era of paddle steamers. 
pricked your build, cheeked your build, and easy to fix when you damaged it. Boats like the Pevensey had a relatively short lifespan of about 40 years or so, completely worn out at the end of their working days. Luckily enough for the Pevensey, the country was washed with free money in the early 1970s and she was restored here in Echuca. She turned operation in 1977. Okay folks, this is a bit you need to listen to carefully. This is Morrison's Winery. Only hop off the boat if you have a booking at the winery. Morrison's Winery, only hop off the boat if you have a booking at quarter to two. If the pick up time, you need to be down here and you need to wait on the riverbank, not out on the landing here. At quarter to two is pick up time. <laughs> So that's all the people heading off to the uh, up to the winery. Hey, so um, are we the only not fish heads on this boat? Go get me a wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta go and get a beer and a wine for Debs. What's the what's the name again? Neil. Neil. Captain Neil. Well that's it for Achuca. Tomorrow we're off to Swan Hill and then from Swan Hill to Mildura. We've just got a couple of packages turning up at Mildura, Mildura next week. So we'll just uh, make our way up there through Swan Hill, stay a couple of nights there and then on to, on to Mildura. So um, hopefully you guys um, enjoyed this, um, this video. Um, like subscribe and um we'll see you hopefully next week in swan hill <laughs> g'day australia <laughs>